My name is Ed Wilmarth III. I'm 40 years old and I'm a firefighter currently at the Broad Channel Volunteer Fire Department. I joined the Volunteer Fire Department in 1993. My father joined in 1967. He became a chief as well. Unless you've done it yourself, you really have no idea what it really takes to be a firefighter, let alone a volunteer one. It takes a lot, almost all of your free time away. When 9-11 happened, it was nine days before my 21st birthday. I was living in my parents' home still. The roof alarm went off on top of the firehouse and the radios send out an alert. They toned out for a plane crash into the World Trade Center. So I immediately just jumped up and ran up the block. I was the last guy to get on the ambulance at the firehouse. I got dressed in route. So my shoes and sneakers were still in the ambulance. They were asking for ambulances from all five boroughs to start responding to the World Trade Center because they anticipated so many injuries. We thought we were in a unique spot here where if they're really so overwhelmed, we could say, listen, we're firefighters too. The entire command structure broke down immediately. There's no one there to give you orders to tell you what to do, where to go. We are the next company to go in. And he yelled across to us, he said, who are you? And we said, Broad Channel. And he said, okay, you're next. And as soon as he said, you're next, Tower 2 came down on top of us. We all looked up and looked back at that chief. We could only read his lips and he's saying, run. Volunteer fire departments were backfilling empty FDNY firehouses for, uh, for a few days, or quite a few days. For the next two or three days, we were covering empty FDNY firehouses with our engine. FDNY is a much bigger, more focused on group, uh, and rightfully so. I mean, they're, they're, they're the best of the best. You know, they were hit the hardest. They were hit the worst. Uh, so, so all the focus should be on them. Volunteers were just, uh, listen, we did what we could. Why would anyone want to be a volunteer firefighter? I don't know. If you have any kind of pride in your town, in your neighborhood, why wouldn't you want to sign up to protect them? There are special kind of people that volunteer to risk to put their lives on the line for somebody else. I did not feel scared at all. You're responding to the, the big one and you're hoping that you're gonna be able to help as many people as you can. Not because you want a pat on the back, not because you want to get a medal or anything along those lines. It's just what you do. 